Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Today, we're going to show off the algorithmic solution that works for fleens on both the not-so-easy difficulty and oh-so-hard difficulties, because these two difficulties are actually identical, and we solve them the exact same way. So I'll just do it on oh-so-hard just for proof of concept, and let's go. So again, this algorithm is very simple. You start by picking the first Zumbini and placing him down. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, we now know that spiky hair corresponds to blue ponytails, glasses correspond to cyborg visors, orange nose corresponds to orange nose, and bicycle corresponds to tank treads. So now we use this information to try to figure out which Zumbinis will cause these guys to go down. So we know that one Zumbini that will trigger this guy to go down will have a bicycle. One of them will also have an orange nose. And that's about all we know. So bicycle and completely different everything else. So let's try him. So that wasn't quite it, but that does tell us a good deal. So we now know they have to have a bicycle, and they have to have a purple nose, and they have to have a bull cut. So just different eyes, but the same everything else. So this guy fits the bill, so he'll trigger this flame to jump down. Alrighty. And this tells us a good deal. So now we know we need somebody who has, let's say, a Cyclops eye, because that's this little lady here. So we need someone with a Cyclops, but different everything else. Alright. You're a Cyclops, and you have different everything else, so let's try you. Alright, so that's a little bit bad, because now we only have two more Zumbinis we can put up the tree, and that remains for the last two Fleens. So it has to be a Cyclops, and it has to have different everything else. So it would be needed to be a Cyclops who either has green hat hair or a ponytail. Different feet, so that uh, both of them fit the bill. And they all, both have a different nose, so it could be either one of these two. Oh, joy. But keep in mind, we do also know that bicycles correspond to tank treads, and we know there's a lady here who has a bicycle, as well as a ponytail. So the question remains, if ponytails correspond to viking hair, there should be someone with viking hair over here that has tank treads. No such Zumbini exists. So that means it has to correspond to green hat hair. And as we can see, there are only two Zumbinis up there who actually have viking hair. Only two Zumbinis who actually have green hat hair. So that narrows it down. This little lady will trigger this one to jump down. And then this lady will trigger that flame to jump down. Alright, so that's kind of the way the algorithm works. That was a little clunky. Let's try that again, and hopefully we'll get better results. So again, start by putting this Zumbini out. Oh boy. So right off the bat, nobody with bald head, nobody with glasses, nobody with a blue nose will go up there. But we do have two who have propellers that will go up there. So Zumini with a propeller and different everything else. And just looking around here, we have one other fleeing with rockets. So that means we'll have three Zumbinis with propellers over here, and two of them will trigger these fleens to jump down. So we've got her, but she has glasses. And that's not going to work, because no fleen up there has tri uh, free eyes, which correspond to glasses. So essentially, she's out, which leaves these two Zumbinis. So we actually know right off the cuff, these two Zumbinis are going to trigger those two fleens to jump down. Oh, 
so yeah. here we can kind of use the other fleens to help us with our algorithm, which we didn't really do last time until the very end. So what you can do is basically look and say, okay, so we know propellers correspond to rockets. How many rockets are there? We saw there were three, and we saw we had three Zuminis with propellers. One Zumini who had a propeller had glasses, same with this guy, which didn't appear anywhere on the fleens. So we knew this Zumbini couldn't be it. So this Zumbini will trigger this fleen to jump down. And this gives us a solid amount of information on how to get this fleen to jump down. So they have to have a red nose, and they have to have different everything else. Well, we've only got two Zuminis with red noses. Her and him. Now, it can't be him because he's got a bowl cut, and so does that guy. So it's got to be her. So she's going to trigger this fleen to jump down. All right, one more try, and I think you guys will get the algorithm down, Pat. And if you already have got the algorithm down, Pat, good for you. You are a fast learner. Oh, that tells us a good deal. Pink, uh, purple mohawk with wheels. Purple mohawk with wheels. So the, another Zumbini will trigger this guy to go down. We'll have a ponytail and a bicycle. And then different everything else. Actually, no. And glasses. Ponytail, bicycle, and glasses. That's this little lady. So now we need someone else with glasses, but different everything else. So him, 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 not him, because he's got a purple nose and she has a purple nose. So it's one of these three, and they all have three traits in common. Oh boy. Well then. So that's going to be a random guess. How about we try for this fleen instead? Someone with an orange nose, but different everything else. We only have two orange noses here. One with a bowl cut, one with a bald head, and then feet. Alright, let's try you. Okay. So this should narrow it down. So that means the last person with an orange nose, who is this guy, is going to trigger this fleen to jump down. And that'll tell us which of these three Zubinis will trigger this guy to come down, because they have the same feet as the Zubini we just sent up, which is pink shoes. Which means this guy's going to be our all-star, who will trigger the last fleen to jump out of the tree. Pretty simple logical puzzle. Just need to make a few correlations, and you are good. You. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode of The Logical Journey of the Zuminis. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Hope to see you in the future for my next episode. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.